guys hope you're all doing well so I lied in the thumbnail of this video it is a Colourpop haul it's like 90% because there are some other things that I want to show you um, that aren't Colourpop my bad uh, but I, they're gonna be really really quick really really quick I'm just making sure I didn't miss anything Okay, really, really quick. So the first thing is, I think I showed you this Maybelline Fit Me Tinted Moisturizer in another haul, another video, get ready with me, or something. Didn't use it yet because I wanted to get the primer. This is the Fit Me Matte and Poreless Mattifying Primer. Um, if you guys are familiar with Maybelline Fit Me, you know they have a, you know, the, the Fit Me Foundation. It's like $5. It's really good. And they have a uh, dewy one and then the matte and poreless. I actually don't own it anymore. I'm thinking about repurchasing it. I got rid of the matte and poreless a while ago for no reason. It was just old, you know, decluttering. Um, but this stuff has made me want to get it again because the Fit Me powder is bomb. So I might pick up the matte and poreless foundation. It's only, again, like five bucks. But anyway, I got the primer and we're going to use these together eventually. We're getting there. All right. The next item on the list, um, NYX. So NYX has come out or relaunched some of their classic iconic items. And I picked up, my glasses are so dirty. And I picked up um, a few of them and I'm very excited about it. So I love the NYX Pore Filler Primer. Um, they kind of relaunched that and they relaunched it in this, the regular, they have the tube, but then they have um, the pore filler targeted stick. This is very exciting. So, I again, I love the pore filler. It's one of my favorite pore filling primers. And this is just a white, not really white, a translucent primer that targets your porous areas. And it's also mattifying. And... I'm just so happy about this. I'm just I'm just so happy about it. So you can target your more porous areas of your face with that primer stick. Okay? They also came out, relaunched their jumbo eye pencils. Okay. Little bit of story here. If you were anybody getting into makeup probably about 10 years ago and all you had was like your look your local beauty supply store, NYX, these grease paint <laughs> sticks like uh, I'm trying to think of like, I mean, people use them as eyeshadow bases. Milk was the classic one. Milk and cottage cheese. People use them as white bases when they did bright rainbow looks. I remember um, Lauren, the queen of blending, um, OG YouTuber back in the day. She would, beautiful looks, and she would use uh, a NYX pencil in milk. But anyway, um, NYX has relaunched these. Um, the formula is a lot better than before, even though they weren't bad before. I remember people making videos on how to depot them into jars because people didn't realize you could sharpen these jumbo plastic pencils which I thought was hilarious um, so I picked up three colors and they're $4.50 they're still reasonably priced um, I picked what's the name of it? we got iced mocha I'm swatching them in order iced mocha frappe and I just picked some shades they're still very creamy um, I picked mine up for more of waterline liner um, and then we got Blueberry Pop. They had about, what, 12 shades? At least. Um, so those are the three colors that I picked up. Definitely for just like waterline liner. But they can be used as bases, whatever you want to use them for. Um, yes, yeah, so I was very excited about that. And then the NYX Butter Glosses. I have a lot of NYX lip products. You guys know I collect NYX lip vaults or what have you. But um, I own like three two to three butter glosses um they don't really put those out in i'm lying i don't own two to three i just bought i bought what was it last year here before the the vault with like 12 in it 12 or 14 in it but before that I only had like three um <laughs> and now I, I just remembered i had that little vault so I have maybe like 12 of the butter, butter glosses. But they weren't really my, I don't want to say they weren't my favorite lip gloss. It just wasn't with the shades that were there. I had a, I have maybe like two or three shades I really like. Really, really like. And I, these just came out in the, at the perfect time. I don't have to wear a mask anymore at home while well, working from home. And I'm into my lip glosses again. And NYX launched butter glosses in nude deep nude brown girl friendly nude shades and they brought back the classic what was it cinnamon roll or something i don't know i didn't own that one but everybody liked it so i picked up three um and i picked up let's see brownie drip it's all brown nude glosses fudge me and lava cake so these butter glosses are lightweight they're not really 
they're not the shiniest lip gloss you're gonna come across. I know that's very weird. They're they almost look like a, a lip balm on the lip. Not in terms of color, but in terms of the way your lips look. Like they have shine, but it could be more like a tinted lip balm than I would say gloss, 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 which is what a lot of people like. So, but look at these nudes, baby. Look at these nudes. So from top to bottom, hold up so I don't lie to you. Alright, yeah, from top to bottom, we have Brownie Drip, then you got Fudge Me, and then you have Lava Cake, which is the deepest one. So, very excited, very excited. Okay, two more things from Ulta, and then we'll get into, um, Call Pop. Well, Wild has a new palette, a new large palette, $19.99. Uh, okay, $20. Wet and wow, Wild, who they playing with? Um, I did not open this. Dang it. So this palette is called Wild Heart, yeah, Wild Heart, emphasis on A-R-T, um, Artistry Palette. And yeah, so they don't do things super, super big very often. And I'm going to be honest, this already, this palette, it's the cheap plastic packaging, and it could have been a lot smaller. There's so much space in between these eyeshadows. They don't have names. I don't know why there's so much space in between them. I haven't depotted a palette in a very long time. This will probably be one that I depot because I don't need this large crappy plastic packaging but the shades are very pretty um and, ooh we'll play with it we'll play with it I'll let mm, don't look bad I like those jewel tones but I pr I'm probably gonna depot this I haven't depotted in a long time um, so that'll be a fun project to do, to depot that, because, yeah, that's ridiculous. <laughs> anyway, now, final thing, before ColourPop, you guys know I love Buxom lip glosses, I, lo I love them, I just bought a new shade, I think I showed it to you, maybe not, um, this is their new, from their new collection, this is Pumpkin Chai Latte, it's a brown nude, because... I love a Buxom lip gloss. Buxom lip glosses are $25 already. Buxom came out with this Plump Shot um, Collagen Infused Lip Serum. This is $25. Who am I? Who am I? Rockefeller? Because I, I bought a $25 lip serum. Anyway. Uh, I like it though. <laughs> I like the way it makes my lips feel. Now the Buxom plumping lip glosses, they don't plump my lips. They don't do anything. This tingle is far more intense. Far more intense. Not painful or uncomfortable for me, but it could be for some. Uh, I'm uncomfortable. I wouldn't say painful. Uh, yeah, the Buxoms don't really plump my lips. I do feel that tingle. This tingle is a more intense tingle. Um, I think it plumps my top lip a little bit. I even took a picture, sent, to, sent it to my mom. She agrees. Um, it, and it lasts, that tingle feeling lasts for a lo much longer. Probably about an hour. Probably about an hour. Um, it's not like a lip gloss or anything. So it's not like, it looks like you really have anything on. It just looks like your lips are moisturized. But I just like the feeling of having it on. This is, uh, yeah, and the packaging is very cute. So, show y'all that. Just, just show y'all what's, what's been going on. That's just where it is. All right, let's get into ColourPop. So, I took everything I took everything out of the boxes and such. I did not open any of the packaging. I did not open anything because I want us to do that together. But taking everything out of the packaging and stuff takes some time. So, I did that. Took all the palettes out of their boxes. Let's do it. Let's get started. We'll do the palettes last because I got a lot of palettes. The first thing I picked up, no particular order. This is the Lux of the Party Lux Lip Vault. Now, I'm going to be honest with you. When I purchased this, I purchased all of this also during their 30% off sale. So, everything was 30% off of its original price. Anyway, um, I thought this was a Lux. I wanted to try the Lux Lip Oils. I thought this was all Lux Lip Oils. <laughs> In the set, I need to read. I probably need, needed to read more. Um, but it's a, I'm happy that it's not. And it's a mixture of their different Lux things. So we have... I'm not going to swatch everything, you guys. That takes a lot of time. So the, this is a sample of their... Like a kit, not a, a vault. 
There you go. You get a Lux Lip Oil, and this is a clear. It's in Dew Drop. So that's the lip oil. You get a Lux Lip Gloss, two Lux Lip Glosses. The first one is in Tricky. So this is a light pink with some golden reflect in it. Okay. And then we have, I haven't tried any of these lip products before, like these formulas, so that's going to be exciting. Another gloss in Candy Kiss. This is a cool grayish, a cool grayish pink with gold reflex in it as well. And then we have two of their Lux Velvet. These are the liquid lipsticks, and this is a brown nude in Room Service, as well as a... Uh, brick red and it's a banger so we have a set of different lip formulas and that's very exciting because I'm trying them and you know re not repurchase but purchase others of the ones that I like so that's very exciting okay then we have um I bought a I love the what are they called glitterly obsessed glitter whatever Glitter gels, okay? Because I fell in love with Limited Space Paste. Y'all know the story, and this is a lot cheaper, okay? So I got one. This was from their Frozen collection, or Frozen 2, excuse me. And this one is called Waterfall. So this is, they're glitterly obsessed, uh, glitters. Um, and this is a bright yellow gold thick flakes in here. I can see the thick flakes, baby. And I'm very excited to put this all over my face body whatever get into that get into that y'all better get into it get into it okay so that's exciting all of this is exciting all of it and then Colourpop just released the Cabana Club palette and they announced the Powerpuff Girls collab and I want that palette too and I want the Cabana Club palette as well <sighs> I bought three Super Shock Shadows because I miss buying Super Shock Shadows. Um, the three shades that I have. This one is from the Raw Beauty Christie collab with them. I didn't even notice that. This one's called Campfire. Look at that. That's gorgeous. Oh, yes. Look at that fire. Look. That's beautiful. Ooh, I, I want to put that on my... I'm probably going to put that on my eyes tomorrow. Tomorrow morning. Let's sit that. We're going to wear that tomorrow. Let's whew, put that to the side. All uh, right. This is Secret Garden. And this is cut... I'm sorry. The other one, Campfire, is a ultra glitter. It's classified as an ultra glitter. This one's classified as an ultra glitter as well. And this one is Secret Garden. Oh, so excited. I love makeup. To be honest, I always thought, I still, logically, I don't want the YouTube to be my job. Like, I don't want, like, people who will be able to quit their job and do YouTube, they're ble it's, it's a blessing, and I get it. But outside, I like my job. I like what I do. Logically, I, even if I got YouTube famous, I wouldn't quit my job to do YouTube, too, because I love what I do. But... I also would love to just play in makeup all day <laughs> and get paid for it. So it's one of those. Ugh. You know? Um, this next one is also an ultra glitter. I didn't even realize I bought all ultra glitters. This is called Rosebud. I don't know why I had to just go on that tangent because like, like opening new makeup. And it's not even just the new makeup. Like my old makeup. Doing my face. My cousin's wedding was yesterday. And I went with a tried and true just combination of products. I did some old, some new, but just like I wanted a full face glam. Just what I and I sat there, had my music on, and just doing my makeup brings me so much joy. Okay, we have some cheek products. I bought some super shock cheeks as well. I don't know what the cream, maybe with the skin tints and the creamy things, summertime. I don't know, but I have four super shock cheeks blushes. Uh, I think they're all blushes. Yes, they're all super shock cheek. Anyway, let's get started. This first one's called Drop of a Hat. Also, uh, this is not gross. 
Um, some people may think it's gross. With your makeup, you know, there are expiration dates on things. And people always ask me with the big collection, how do you know things go bad, blah, blah, blah. You just keep your eye on things and you, they start to smell funny. They go, you know when something's gone bad. Um, but my super shock cheeks, mind you, keep the lid on them. I made my first ColourPop order years ago. And my first, first ColourPop order, I ordered some super shock cheeks. Um, I mean, my first or second order. Years ago, back, because I remember I ordered them. I had them when I lived back home. I've lived here for almost six years. I had them when I lived back home, and they're still moist and just as good as when I first got them. I, I don't know. I just, they, these last a long time if you take care of them. So this is Drop of the Hat Super Shock Cheek. This is a pearlized finish. Look how pretty that is. Oh, that might go on my cheeks tomorrow. Oh my gosh, it'll go well with that lip, that lip, that eyeshadow. Oh, put those to the side. <laughs> All right, the next one is, um, this is a matte, and this is called Over Dramatic. Like me. Perfect. Over Dramatic. That's me. Ah! If it's worth doing, it's worth overdoing. Okay. Okay. Um, next one. Yes, she did. This is also a matte. There was no motivation for which colors I chose or whatever, just things I didn't have. I went through my inventory. I was looking at my inventory. Um, and colors I didn't have that looked nice online. And I'm, I'm really glad the ones I have are all deep enough. And then this one is a pearlized. It's kind of a bronzy shade. Voile. Voile. Why am I trying to give it a French... I think it's like voile. Let's be your alley. Let's see. Um, this has to be part of some collection. Not quite sure. Already threw the box away. Um, because this is a creamy colored packaging versus the white. But that's pretty. That is pretty. Let's see. This is a pearlized finish as well. I could do this and the other one. One is a blush. Maybe one is a highlight. And put them both over there for tomorrow's face. Who boy. Alright, I got some other cheek products. Getting into the cheeks today. So I have... This is the Cheek Dew Serum Blush. Never tried it. Um, this is the shade Hot Fuss. I just picked a deep looking shade. Serum Blush. Serum Blush. Um, so, again, trying new things is just my thing, but I feel as though now is a good time to try liquidy, cream type of blushes over top of our skin tints and stuff, you know? So, let's see what this looks like. I'm blending it out. It's definitely thin, but that's definitely a blush. So, okay. We'll see. That's hot fuss. We'll see. Then I got a stick blush. I didn't even know they had blush sticks. This is called blush stick. This is from the Lemon Limoncello collection. Um, and it's called Coastal Drive. I hope it's Limoncello, not Limoncello. Um, and this is, I got a deeper one as well. Because again, you don't know online. Oh, I don't know if I'm going to like this though. This is very slippery. I don't know. I don't I didn't like the way that went on my hand. Does it settle down? I guess I could blend eh? when I blend it out, it kinda disappears. It's supposed to be right here. I don't know. Mm. I don't know. And then I really, real last cheek product, really wanted this for a while now. Um, and I picked it up in this haul. This is the cheek palette. Sweet Ro this is the shade cheek roll it's the deepest one i think they came out with five of these and this is the deepest one and oh and everyone all of them have names so you have avalon which is a highlighter and i actually own this highlighter in the super super shock cheek formula then you have toffee cake that's toffee cake a blush then you have icing on top, which is another blush. And then you have sweet cinnamon, which is also labeled as a blush, which that should probably be my contour. Um, really like this palette. That's really nice. 
And I know I like Avalon. I love Avalon. Avalon's a good highlighter. All right, now it's palette time. Let me take a sip. It's palette time. I picked up 11 palettes. Eleven palettes. Um, some new, some I just wanted to get there on my list. All right, so I am going to start. Let's go with the smaller ones. Let's go with the the nine pan palettes, which I actually had to reorganize behind me a little bit. You can kind of see. Put them in a basket here. It, you'll, you'll see when I do that makeup collection. Oh, it's coming. All right, so I think. I don't know what order. All right, the first one is Coast to Coral. Now, I took these out of the boxes. I didn't open the palettes yet. So, this is Coast to Coral Pressed Powder Palette. This is, as you can guess, Corals. I love this nine pan, just cardboard packaging. I don't need a mirror in my palettes at this point in my makeup journey. I do not. So, this is Coast to Coral. I'm going to move pretty quickly because this video is already 20 to 22 minutes. So. Coastal Coral. Beautiful shades. I still believe the sh all ColourPop shadows pop out. Um, so you can put them in a palette, Depop, Magnet. I, I'm never going to do that because just my anxiety won't let me do that. The Wet n Wild one because they don't have names. Mm -mm, I'll probably Depop that as soon as possible. But, um... Yeah, stuff like this in the packaging is so, so pretty. I just can't. This next one is the only one that's still in the plastic packaging. And this is called the Wild Child. And it is a pressed to powder. Pre pressed to powder. Pressed to powder eyesh eyeshadow palette in the brown brown family. Um, and it's absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely beautiful. Look at that pretty sparkly shade in the middle. Absolutely gorgeous. So we have... Ooh, ooh, yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Cherry Crush. This is one of their newer releases. Um, this was like the main release, the newest release. This one and the other palette I have when I make the order. Cherry Crush. And this is a pinky palette. Pinky pink, pinky fuchsia. There's some purple in there, but... I know my other pinky red palettes combine them all with from ColourPop. I probably have these, but oh, very nice. Then we have Big Poppy. I've been wanting this one for a while, and I don't know why I didn't get it in other ColourPop orders. But this, ooh, get that plastic off, is this is me. This is a um, all matte, warm, orangey brown. This is all me. This is all me. All me, period. Mm. Yes. Uh, and then there are two other new small ones. We have High Tide, which is a all deep um, teal blue palette. This is gorgeous. I opened this up, and this is, I can tell now by memory that this is not um, like the other blue one that I have. Because I was like, how close to the other blue one I'm going to have? But this is more teal focused. This is very pretty. Wow. So that's High Tide. High Tide. I do, I'm a warm girl, warm my shadow all day, but I do love a good blue look. You can't beat it. All right, and then this one's very exciting. This is the Fine Feathered. This is another reason why I can't define. Look at the packaging. Uh, <gasps> we got a broken shadow. But you know what? It can be salvaged. Let's be careful there. It can be salvaged. It's no need to write color pop about it. I can repress it. Get me my fingers. Let's see. Let's press it down now. Look at that. Look at that. Yeah, we'll clean it off. Bam! Fine feathered. It's a little bit beautiful. Okay. Um. I also picked up, this is not a, this is a, let me just show you. It's their pressed glitter palette. And this one's called, um, oh no, I forgot the name of it. Oh, oh no. It's a pre, um, put together, yes, I'm digging in my trash. It is a pre put together, uh, palette. 
Oh my god, I'll put the name. I'll put the name. <laughs> and it's a pressed glitter palette. And it's pressed glitter. So it came like this. It didn't come... You know how some preset palettes come with all the individual shades and you have to pop them in the palette? No, this was already done. It was just tape shot. It was already pre-done. Um, and this is... Y'all know I love a pressed glitter. These are... These look more on the toned down side of glitters if you want like a good chunky one but these are very pretty nonetheless and yeah they're pressed glitter palette so we have some I'm really excited about the 312 paint let's do this big one this is another one that's not new but I had never picked it up this is their fade into hue pressed powder palette and this is their first like big rainbow palette let's open it up and see I am very very critical of a rainbow eyeshadow palette and I can tell you now this is not a rainbow eyeshadow palette eh let's see so you have some mattes in here satin metallics and then some like pressed glitters but I need a Roy G Biff Spectrum let's see red pushing it orange just has glitter in it yellow there's a matte yellow there's a matte green a couple matte greens blue there is no indigo and then we have violet so it's not a true rainbow palette but it's very pretty and they go down in this pretty column these pretty columns so I'm just saying you could have had an indigo column and you could have threw a matte orange in there but what do I know I know my rainbow palettes I do I know my rainbow palettes this is pretty packaging as well I think that's beautiful so that's the fade into hue <laughs> All right, then we have Off Melrose. Off Melrose, baby. I love this color scheme. It's a beautiful neutral to cool palette. Absolutely gorgeous. I told you guys, I don't know what video, a few videos ago that, oh, when I got the other color pop hole and I got that cool tone, the, the Stone Cold Fox palette, and I was really excited about incorporating more cool tone palettes in my collection. This is more neutral cool, but we're getting there. I really like this deep shade that's not too much of a brown, not too much of a black right there in the corner. Not too much of a gray, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. This off Melrose. I know it might seem boring, but this combination of colors, I wouldn't think to put together in a palette, and so that's why I like palettes. That's why I like them beautiful absolutely gorgeous off Melrose all right the lettering on this one's kind of raised which I like all right then we have the lush life palette this packaging come on y'all get into it absolutely beautiful let's get into it um oh this is the one I was most excited to open look at this look at these rich shades here baby look at these rich shades here look at this look at this this is a color pop palette the first color pop palette in a while that doesn't really look like another color pop palette absolutely beautiful this deep this matte row here at the bottom is everything let's do that let's absolutely beautiful absolutely beautiful and then finally, this palette, this is a 12-pan palette as well. And this is the Limoncello palette. But I don't understand. It's bigger than their other 12-pan palette. I mean, I'm going to open it up and see why in a minute. But it's a little bit larger, which kind of annoys me. <laughs> Let's open it up. Maybe these are full-size bigger shadows. They are! Oh, my God! I didn't even realize. I didn't even... Like, why is this palette bigger? And I just, in my mind, had the thought of, like, maybe these are full-size shadows. But I don't understand why they are. I, I don't understand anything ColourPop does. Why does this palette get... It's beautiful. Let's open it up together. It's beautiful. That mirror is adorable. And then look at the palette. Absolutely beautiful summer palette. But I don't understand why these are bigger shadows. Full-size. Full I, I don't... I. I don't know. I don't know. I don't understand anything. But I'm very excited to have it. Oh, it's so pretty. Oh my god, man. Packaging's bomb as well. So That is my 99% ColourPop haul. Thank you so much for watching. 
If you have any questions, comments, concerns about any of the products mentioned in this video, feel free to leave it down below. I love you all. Talk to you guys in the next one. Bye.